Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I wanted to show you a couple of tips, a couple of things that we do uh, as boredom busters. Uh, it's the middle of winter right now and it's tough. The girls can't or don't want to get out every day. Um, as you can see, we still have the door open and I've got a little bit of a patio out here. You gotta excuse some of the snow falling off the roof, but a little patio and then go out and sit on the block uh, or the, the bale of hay um, and you know, spend a little time. Now, we need to do more than that to keep them bo uh, from getting bored. A bored chicken picks on uh, the, its friends. A uh, bored chicken uh, doesn't lay good eggs. Chickens want to be stimulated. Chickens are inquisitive, they're smart, they want to be stimulated. So um, let me show you a few things that we do. A lot of it involves food. Let me show you what we do. I just brought out a few of these. Um, first off, they're going to town. I just brought out a bale of hay. Now what I'm gonna do, hopefully I can get this. I'm gonna grab chunks of it. I'm just grabbing, you know, four or five inches of it. And then I'm just gonna shake it into a pile right there. What I'm doing is adding to our deep litter. Um, we've got deep litter, so they've been pooping. Now we need to add that carbon. Um, what I'm also doing is I'm spreading them out. I'm getting them off each other's nerves, just shaking little piles. As soon as I get the pile, instead of them all hanging out on the bale, you notice now we got five over here, six over here. Now we've got a whole bunch over here. See what happened? They're, they're getting on each other's nerves a little bit. So I'm gonna spread out this bale. I'm gonna let them scratch, have fun, but at the same time, they're doing work for me. They are, um, you know, underneath the roost here. We've got a lot of poo from uh, poo from overnight. You know what? They're gonna they're gonna add that next layer of carbon on top of the poo and mix it all in. It's gonna start decomposing, and it's gonna help me with the deep litter. God bless them. They're gonna help me out. So. Number one thing, number one thing, get a bale of straw. Um, if you practice deep litter, get a bale of straw, spread it around, let them do the work for you. Now I'll come back and, and get that. Um, I'll get it all moved around into chunks. Now, while they're doing that, I've also got, here comes the food time now. Let me uh, bring this back here. Look what I got, ladies. I've got our last pumpkin. Now I took, usually I don't, I let them fight at it a little bit more to get through. I did take a little piece off because I wanted to use it for our worm bin down in the basement. But it's the final pumpkin. If you have a garden, if you've got a garden and you grow pumpkins or you got extra space, grow pumpkins so you can use them. They've been sitting in our garage, they've been frozen uh, all winter, and I bring out like one a week. Great boredom buster. And I'm not sure if it's true. I need to research some more, but by eating the uh, pumpkin seeds, the girls um, are helping with their defenses against worms. I don't know if that's true, but at the worst, they're getting a nice little, nice little treat, and enjoying some uh, high, high uh, energy uh, pumpkin there. So, if you got a garden, what a great way to use up some of your extra stuff. Or if you know someone at the end of Halloween, they don't, uh, they don't carve their pumpkins. They got whole pumpkins. Tell them you'll take them off their hands and uh, throw them in your garage and let them freeze. If you're up north. Um, Keep them in a place where you can use them. So 
uh, the straw, I've got the straw, I've got pumpkins, um, one surefire boredom buster, crack corn. Now we do this just about every night when it's cold and all I do is take this little container and sprinkle it around. I'm making a little trail. Let me, uh, let me get to the end here and I'll... Can you see the trail where I was? They're scratching for that uh, corn. They're gonna scratch deeper and they're gonna, they're gonna mix up all that straw again with their poo and uh, help with the deep litter. So I love when my girls earn their keep and they can uh, help me out with some chores. Now the final uh, thing I want to show you, I built a little tree. It's a uh, four by four post and then there's four two foot two by fours attached to it and the girls are now roosting on that. What that's doing, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. What that's doing for me is, uh, they don't use it as much during the day, but we've only got limited space here uh, in the barn. I wanna spread them out as much as possible, especially if one of them's feeling like a bully. If someone's feeling like a bully, they know they can get up on the roost back there. There's a roost in the, in the coop, uh, the little, formerly little girl coop. There's a shelf in there. There's the table. Now there's the, the tree. Uh, let me see if I'm getting that. There it is. Um, the tree is uh, uh, up there. They can jump up there, get away from someone who's being a bully. Um, it just spreads them out. Um, and it's also something to jump around. They, I see them jumping around every now and then on it. So it's something. Boy, we've got... We got some scrappy girls today. Uh, I think we got a, uh, something happening here for uh, uh, turning over some of the hierarchy here today. We've got some people picking on others. So I'm gonna, it is a good method to spread them out then. I need to do that today. Now my final thing, off of this tree, here's another look at the tree. Just, uh, I got some little angle, angled pieces screwed in to hold that up. Nothing special, I've got them at one foot intervals. I've got the shorter pieces over the table so I don't walk into it, because I know I would walk into it. So the seven and eight foot ones are up here. Um, hanging off this eight foot one is a string. And I've got a uh, head of cabbage there. And the girls um, really love that hanging there. Now I've got so much stimulus going on here with the pumpkin. Looking through there, you can see the, the bale. I've got girls scratching over here, spreading out the straw over there. Um, there's a lot going on. So I think this is the least uh, exciting for them. Um, so, But it's a uh, head of cabbage. I've just got a, a screw, a, a long bolt going through it. Let me show you. Just tied on with some string. I've got a washer at the end and a, a nut to hold it in place. But I just uh, hang it there and the girls will come over and once one of them starts pecking on it, oh, then the next one pecks on it. And then you get a whole bunch around there um, working at that. So anyways, some boredom busters, straw, uh, extra veggies, you know, a pumpkin. It could be a zucchini. It could be anything uh, but squash work great the straw the corn um, doing that and then the cabbage just good boredom busters let me come out here see if you can get a the big view of everything um, but we got quite a bit going on here today over here. Sorry, I'm trying to get the right angle. Um, here we go. So, boredom busters. Keep your girls from picking on each other. Keep them happy. In my case, keep them working, uh, turning over that deep litter. 
uh, and mixing that up uh, so it's good for my compost pile in the spring. Uh, they're finding little seeds, but boredom busters. If you've got some ideas, I'd love to hear them. I'm always looking for new ideas to incorporate into, uh, into our area here for the girls. Keep them happy, especially during the winter. Um, if you've got other ideas, let me know. Um, or if you think some of these are not good ideas, let me know. Uh, I like, uh, like to hear your opinions. Thanks everybody for watching, really appreciate it. Hope you're, you can take some of these things and uh, make your area a little more, a little less boring for your girls so that they're stimulated and laying a bunch of eggs. Cheers everybody.